it comes to upgrading your muscle car with a blend of show and go fast parts, it becomes a bit of a juggling act. Most companies' car show parts aren't looked upon as performance pieces, unless their name is Billet Specialties. This innovative company builds components that look equally the part on race cars and award-winning car show queens. Today we're taking a look at Billet Specialties' True Track front drive system for LS-based engines, as we install one on our project LS3 crate engine. Let's take a look at what comes included in the True Track top mount kit we selected. An ATI Super Dampener dampens the engine's harmonics better than the OEM counterpart. The Edelbrock water pump is a high flow unit that increases the cooling power of your engine. A PowerMaster 105 amp one wire alternator helps simplify wiring while supplying enough power to run all the components in your vehicle. A Mavil power steering pump helps reduce steering effort and also comes with AN outputs. Since our kit is designed for AC, we also received the Sandon AC compressor that comes with a Billet Specialties clutch cover and patented Billet compressor manifold that will supply superior cooling. For the bracket system itself, Billet Specialties has gone to great lengths to design their front drive system to utilise perfect placement of these accessories. These parts include all precision machined Billet brackets that are super thick with rounded edges and are polished to perfection. And even better, helping mount the brackets in all the factory locations are 12 point ARP stainless steel bolts. Topping off the brackets are the Billet Specialties pulleys. Every single one is one piece billet and includes the air conditioning, water pump, alternator, power steering, crank, and idler pulleys. The belt of choice in the True Track kit is a Goodyear Gatorback 6 rib serpentine belt. As you can see, we opted for the polished kit, but Billet Specialties also offers a black anodized finish for a more aggressive look. Now let's take a look at the installation. We laid out all of the components and made sure to carefully read the Billet Specialties instructions. First to be installed was the ATI Super Dampener and the Edelbrock Water Pump. The ATI Dampener required an OEM installation tool that was the correct diameter of the crank. The inner bracket installs first, which is followed by the dampener itself and is held on by Allen bolts. From there we move to installing the Billet Specialties Billet Brackets, which come separately packaged and labelled. Given that our engine was sitting on an engine stand, this was super easy to accomplish. If your engine is installed already, don't worry, just expect to spend a little more time carefully placing the brackets in the correct positions. Next we installed the polished one wire Powermaster alternator that comes with a billet pulley and alternator fan followed by the polished sand and AC compressor, clutch cover and compressor manifold, with the final accessory being the Mavil power steering pump that includes AN fittings. Having built mostly race cars in the Power TV garage, installing these components was different than what we mostly do, but anyone with a good handle on wrenching can perform this install thanks to Billet Specialty's step-by-step -step instructions. Wrapping up the installation, we move to the Gatorback 6 rib pulley and tensioner. Billet Specialties Tensioner is manufactured proprietarily for the True Track systems, machined out of billet aluminum and extremely easy to set. Simply rotate the tensioner nut from the 12 o'clock position clockwise, install the tensioner pulley and return the tensioner bolt to the 12 o'clock position and you're done. In a matter of two hours we were able to install the Billet Specialties True Track front drive system with ease. The directions are straightforward and Billet Specialties included all the right hardware to make it happen. With the performance of the included accessories matched with Billet Specialty's precision-made components, we knew we would have a winner on our hands. Now all we need to do is get the old Project Swinger closer to rolling down the highway and we'll be ready to show or go at a moment's notice.